Sixteenth notes, same way. Eighth notes, sixteenths. So the idea is that very relaxed motion whenever you're playing, whatever you're playing. If I'm playing a ride cymbal, if I'm doing a jazz pattern, the same thing holds true. And I'll talk more about that in a little while, but still. Very loose relaxed method. Sixteenth notes, eighth notes. Now this sounds very simple, and it is a very simple idea, but very important, especially when you're playing faster grooves, and you're playing especially in a studio where things have to be very consistent, or playing live where things also have to be. The more consistent you play, you can create a bigger sound, and you can actually create the illusion of speed, the cleaner things are. So if you're playing a really fast 16th note groove, Very relaxed. Okay, the different areas or the hi hat are, are very important. Then I'm kind of hitting C on the the bow of the symbol. Okay, the bow of the symbol with the shoulder of the stick. I'm never really playing like this, and I'm not chopping in to the side of the hi hat. A lot of players, I think a lot of people see people play maybe with their hi-hat real high, ding, ga, ding, ga, and they're chopping into the side, but you know, it, it's not getting a very good sound. So sound is everything. Sound is very important with the feel or the groove of a tune. So it's very important that I'm hitting pretty much the shoulder or taper of my stick is kind of matching the shoulder or taper of the hi-hat. Now this is something in the heat of playing, you know, but hey man, is my shoulder on there? Is everything cool? No, it's, you know, it, it comes with practice. So what I'm saying is just be careful. You don't want to play a rock groove like this. You know, it's a very thin sound. The relationship is much better like that. Not that it's heavy, it's fatter sounding, bigger sounding, blends more with the snare drum and with the kick drum. I think you can all hear that that's a very thin, very thin sound. Just a little change like that can mean a huge difference in the feel and the sound of the groove. So again, even with playing 16th notes, you can accent the downbeat. Or the eighth note.
Okay, let's look at this in a live playing situation. 